What's up, family? It's Timor, photographer, director, brand strategist, man, overall hybrid creative, and I'm blessed to be here with Young and Great. I used to ask my brother all the time, like, bro, what do you think I do? What do you, well, how should I kind of come up with this title? Because social media is full of, like, influencers and full of, like, everybody's a photographer, everybody's a director, and, like, there are so many cultural titles that just kind of stream across social media that I was like, yo, I want to do something and figure out what my title is based on what I love to do. Um, so I think they ended up kind of creating that space where I said I had to create my own lane. I used to call myself the architect of perception. I'm like, I've never seen that on anybody's social media. Um, and I feel like I build the blueprint to how people perceive me and perceive other brands. So I think really it just came to the fact of knowing like I didn't fit with any, within any title. So I had to build my own. It's all about relationships. Like everything that I have ever done has been truly based off of relationships and then honing in on your gift, like honing in on the gift that God has given you. Um, as I've kind of stepped into this space in my life now, it's interesting because like I would kind of be reserved about speaking about the power of God. Like I don't want to offend anybody, but man, like it's true when they say, like in the good book, it tells you like, if you, you, can, you have to allow your gift to put you in the room of powerful people, right? And I think that that's what I've allowed myself to do. Every place I've ever traveled, um, whether domestic or internationally, has, seen, has come because of my camera. Right. Ultimately, it came because of like my gift. Like, I have a gift to be able to produce content. I have an amazing eye, so I'm able to see things differently than most people might see them. And even though there are thousands and hundreds of thousands of like photographers and videographers, like people respect my eye. Right. And I think that's really the number one thing, just like allowing my gift to put me in that place and not having to try to make myself seem like I'm more than. Right. And just kind of just honing in on what I do. And I think that that's where I've been able to kind of flourish in my business. Um, and then just valuing relationships. Like I learned from a mentor, Dr. Alex Ellis, and he told me, uh, this was like 2015, I was listening to like this conference and he was, um, I had went to called NASAP, and he was a speaker there. And he was one of the number one things, like I was ready, I was hustling at the time, I was doing like, I was selling like bead bracelets and I was selling necklaces and all this stuff. And I'm like, this dude is sharp. Like he's like an image type of guy. I'm ready to sell him something. Like as soon as he gets off stage, I'm, I got my little kit together, I'm ready. But then at the very last thing that he says is like, I want to encourage everybody in the room. How do you bring value to someone's life? And I was like, dang, I guess I probably shouldn't try to sell them that because tons of people have product to sell. Tons of people have these other things to sell. And that's like I was deviating from my gift. Right. I'm thinking I'm trying to make jewelry, but I'm like, I'm a camera dude. Like, that's what I am. Like, I love being behind the camera. I love producing stuff for people. Um, so I had checked out his social media real quick and went to his website. And immediately when he got off the stage, I was like, look, I'm going to be honest with you. I wanted to sell you some of this jewelry that I had, but I realized I can be of service to you, man, because I took a look at your Instagram and your website, and I think that you could, you know, you could, you could do for an upgrade on some stuff, and I just want to give my services to you and just see where the relationship goes. And now, three years later, I've traveled with him across the country. Um, I have went to Disney three years, you know, based on the relationship from him, and it all simply started from me trying to figure out what a value I could give and how I could be of service to people. You know, the Bible says the greatest among you will serve. And I'm learning like that's that's the key to really getting to where you want to go. Um, so a lot of times like you get like starstruck, right? If you meet somebody, that person you've been like lingering and like longing to meet for so long. Um, so asking intentional questions are step by step style questions, right? So um, in my specific career field, I'm always meeting tons of different celebrities. And but then again, I meet people who might not be celebrities, but have more of an impact, right? Than some of these celebrities might have like they, they have a little bit of depth involved in the conversation. So when it comes to asking intentional questions, it's about saying like, look, man, I'm trying to learn things that are actually going to elevate me as a, as a brand and as a person, right? Because I think that it gets to a point where sometimes we just want to know like, well, what did you do to get there? But sometimes like you got to understand like everybody's journey is extremely different. So when I say asking intentional questions, it's about saying like, hey, what are some key things that I can do um, that are mandatory for this career field or that are, can really help me elevate, you know, who I am and how I address certain situations or opportunities? What advice I can give to other entrepreneurs, the advice I can give to other entrepreneurs is just to be patient, to truly be patient and to always practice your craft, like whenever, whether you're getting paid for it or not, like just practice your craft. Like if you're a photographer, go out, grab your camera, just shoot something, you know what I'm saying? Just to hone in on, on new skills and new talents um, and always remaining an eternal student, right? Because I think that sometimes like we think that we become the master and we try to stop learning. You know what I'm saying? So like I've been shooting, I've been doing video and photography from now for about 10 years, but I don't think that I know everything about it. I'm just good at what I do, right? I keep getting business, but like as much business as I get, 
is the same amount of education I have to keep getting. Because like sometimes you get attacked with some new things that you might not have ever been challenged with before. And now you sitting there looking like, you know, I don't really know how to do that, but you've been in business for this long. But sometimes we just get to that point where we feel like our success has been hit. So we stop opening books, we stop taking online courses, we stop just reading articles and studying some things. Like get into your industry. Like if you're if you're an artist, right? Like whether music or you know painting, study it. Like study the other people who are doing it. It's not about jocking. It's not about you know taking what other people are doing. It's just about saying like, yo, I want to know what you're investing into, right? I know tons of branding people, like people who do branding and marketing and advertising who've never been to any type of marketing or advertising conference. You know what I'm saying? They've never networked with other people who do the same thing as them so they can learn new, new habits or new, new ways of doing things. So I think it would just really just be like kind of keep a good village around you, right? Striving for perfection, like always push the envelope on whatever it is that you do so in order to be better. Um, and then just, again, just remaining humble at all times because when you're not humble, man, it's like a dark cloud over your process. And it's like that moment where you feel like you're better than is the moment that you start losing relationships and start losing opportunities.